Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Bilal from WebSense Pro team. And today is the first video of our Shopify Google Tag Manager course. And today you will be learning how to install Google Tag Manager on your Shopify store. And after that, we will be adding five more videos about how to set up Google Analytics 4 on Shopify using Google Tag Manager, how to set up run Google Ads for your Shopify store. That will be a third video. And in fourth video, we'll set up Google Ads conversion tracking for our Shopify store, which will also work on the checkout page. And on fifth video, we'll set up a Facebook ad account for our Shopify store. And finally, we'll set up Facebook conversion pixel on our Shopify store to track conversion. Uh, before we jump into installing Google Tag Manager on our Shopify store, let's learn what Google Tag Manager is. What is Google Tag Manager? So Google Tag Manager is a tag management system which can help you install multiple tags with one code container. So we will be creating a container in Google Tag Manager and that container will have multiple codes. For example, Google Analytics code, Google Ads conversion tracking, Facebook pixel, Facebook pixel conversion tag, or there might be other tracking codes, uh, maybe Clavio marketing or MailChimp code or any other custom JavaScript code which you might need to add on your Shopify store and all will be added with one code container. You won't have to add codes separately. All the codes will be added in the container of Google Tag Manager and that Google Tag Manager will be installed on our Shopify store. So that's the quality of Google Tag Manager which can help us summarize all our tag managements and it can also improve speed of our Shopify store. And in these videos, we will also learn how to create custom events. So for example, if we want to measure our button, that how many times that specific submit button or any other button has been clicked, we can check that using Google Tag Manager custom events and track that using Google Analytics 4. And finally, we will be debugging and testing our GTM code via Google Tag Manager preview and debug mode tool. And that it, that's it for our YouTube video series. Now, let's jump into installing Google Tag Manager by creating a Google Tag Manager account. In order to create Google Tag Manager account, I'll search for Google Tag Manager in Google. And that's the Google Tag Manager free tool where, which we will be using to create a Tag Manager account. Click on that. And I'm assuming you are already logged into your Google account. If you are not, then you will need to create a new Google account or your Gmail email so you can create containers. I already have few containers. So in order to show you guys how it works, I'll create a new account. And name it. Select your country. And here we will add name of our store. So this is the development store, which I'll be uh, testing and installing Google Tag Manager account in order to show you guys how it works. So I'm just gonna copy it, paste it here. We are using Google Tag Manager for web level tracking. So click on web, click create, agree to the terms and condition here, click yes. And here we have our Tag Manager account created. Now that's the code which we will be adding on our Shopify store. So I'm just gonna copy it. Now I'll go to the back end of our Shopify store. And from there, I'll click on Online Store. So we have debut theme activated. 
You can also do the same in Dawn theme. I'm doing that for now on W theme. Go to actions and edit code. Before editing the code, make sure to create a duplicate of your Lime theme if you are working on a live store. So if you mess up any code, you can easily revert it back. Now let's click on edit code. And here you need to find theme.liquid file. That's the file where we will be adding our tag manager container code. And you can add that code under head. So I'll just paste it above slash head. Copy the code, paste it here, hit save, and there we go. Our tag manager code has been placed. Now, uh, this code will be triggered on all of the pages except the thank you page. And in order to note down the conversion, we'll also have to add this Google tag manager code in our Shopify checkout settings. So in order to do that, click on settings, and from there, click on checkout and then search for additional scripts. When you scroll down, you will see additional script section. And here we have order status page where we need to add our Google Tag Manager code. Now I just pasted the code, hit save. And now we have, when we have added our scripts to our Shopify checkout settings, let's test our code by placing our test order so we can check if our Google Tag Manager code is working properly. Now let's go to Google Tag Manager and click on preview. And when you click preview, you'll see Google Tag Assistant window opened. And from there, you'll need to add your Shopify store URL. After that, click on connect. And as you can see, our tag assistance has been connected. And when you go to tag assistant window, you'll also see, you'll also see that our tag manager container has been loaded on our Shopify store. Now let's, pl let's place a test order in order to check if our conversion code is being triggered on order status page. So I'm gonna go and place a test order and click on continue to shipping so all these are dummy information which i'm click continue to payment Now, as you can see, we are seeing this error. This is because we are on a development store, which is not allowed to receive actual payments. We'll just go ahead and click on complete order in, edit, in order to test our conversion code. And here we go. As you can see, our order has been placed and our Google Tag Manager code is working on our order confirmation page. And we can also test all to test and check all the events which which were completed on our store so we went to here and then we added a card and then we went to our thank you page for our purchase okay guys so that's it for our first video on our shopify google tag manager course in next video, we'll be learning how to set up GA4, Google Analytics 4 using Google Tag Manager. If you want to keep learning, please subscribe to my channel, comment in the video below so I can create more videos for you guys. Have a great day.